Hi, my name is Dean Murray and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do things a little differently. I'm going to step in front of the camera to showcase some of the custom creations for this beast back here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. And if you have any questions, visit my website. It's www.dinomurray.blogspot.com where I have hundreds of modifications for the Cherokee. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and let's get started with the show. All right, guys, we're going to start off the show with a bang. The first thing that I can think of that comes to mind on my Cherokee that's extremely custom is the soft doors. I've seen a lot of variations of the doors. I've seen people remove them. I've seen them cut halfway down and to a modified half door and vinyl uppers. But I've never seen anybody make a frame for a soft door that completely uh, takes the place of your, your hard door. And I'm gonna show you over the next couple of minutes how this really starts to evolve into something more than what you see. So just be patient. Right now what you're looking at is a 5 16th round bar frame this is the same material that if you were if you inspected the soft doors on a TJ a Wrangler a CJ inside that vinyl is 5 16th round bar it's very durable um, so what we did is we went and we built a perimeter out of it first starting from this right here where my fingers are and my thumb is where the we started we started this bend all right we got the perimeter done first and then we came back in later on and we X'd it out. We built this handle right here and uh, we started adding supports and mounts and hinges and handles and latches. It began, it began to evolve. Uh, this fits on the passenger side of my Cherokee. This uh, fits very snug. And uh, the reason why you see some extra pieces hanging off of this is because there's also a body panel goes on here. Um, I actually uh, cut the door down to just the skin and modified it so it, it, it fits on here. This gets really detailed, so follow me. Anyway, let's just, let's just review this for a second. Like I said, uh, this is a 5 16th round bar. We, we, we put a handle here, it's angled up slightly because I have an interior roll cage and, there, and there's a, a bar, there's some tubing that goes real close here. So we, we didn't have all the room. There's a latch right here that came off of inside of some, you know, cab of a crane or something. Um, these, uh, this one inch stock was used to uh, mount the uh, panels that you're gonna see in a second. Here's the uh, door stop. This is a worn pull for a winch. And what we did is we, we mounted a tab, we welded a tab here and bolted this through. This is actually prevents the door from opening too far and damaging the panel. So let me put this down for a second and I'm going to show you this panel that I'm referring to. This is the actual door skin from the passenger side. All right, here's the handle. Actually, this was a little taller. The handle was here, but we cut it down height wise and we came back with this super light I don't know five pounds six pounds not even that um, it's just this sheet metal and uh, it took a couple of hours to get it down here and when I say a couple hours I mean ten a lot a lot so if you think you're just gonna cut into your doors it, it, this began very raw I mean sawzaws and just getting nuts gutting the windows out hacking off the top of the windows and, and getting down to where you just had this. And then I had to go and clean up all the edges so that no one would hack their finger off. But we came up with this panel that actually remounts to, to, the, to the door and keeps a nice even line along the profile of the Cherokee so that you cut weight, but you still have a panel for looks for protection from the elements. Let me show you how this mounts. As the door, we're gonna lay this down like this. As the door 
is laying there, this actually comes back and lays right here on the top like this. So there is an offset between the frame and, uh, and the panel of about three inches. And that was by design because uh, we have a fender up front that we had to blend it in with and we have a rear door slash panel that I'll show you in the future that we had to blend it with as well and then a rocker panel. Everything had to be blended from three sides. So the offset and what I mean by offset is how far this panel was sticking out according to these. That This was all by design, the height of this, to match all the areas around. All right. Now, we fastened these down with a three, uh, a 3 button head stainless steel bolt. This is uh, the best way to keep anything from rusting. Drop them in. I don't like the shininess of the stainless steel, but if you go with the, the black coated, they rust. So those are your options. Now, this opens fine. It functions completely as a door. There's a handle on here. This thing completely, I'm going to show you here in, in, later on in the video. So as, as, as it is now, we need one final thing to dress it up, and that is the actual handle itself. Okay. This is the, uh, the handle from the, uh, the OEM from the factory, and it's bolted right here. And uh, the, so you, you screwed in so that button doesn't work. But it's just purely for looks. So what, what we do is we just take off the mounting hardware for that. And remember how I said that the handle was up higher, but we shortened the height of this. So we, re, we, we put some new holes in. Bam. Now, this is, op this is not a functioning handle. The handle is behind here. I'll show you later on. So this is the full get up. Now, I'm still not done. Now we have one other thing. You have a window. And when I said soft door, where is there a softness? So let me get this. This is the uh, upholstery part, the soft of the soft door. And uh, it's got a, a clear vinyl window and uh, a canvas, uh, black canvas. This is the same material from like uh, a convertible top of, a, of like a BMW or something, a nice thick canvas. Uh, it's got a zipper all around the perimeter, a number 10 zipper, which is that really big, thick, uh, you know, big teeth that nothing can, you know, get caught in it. Uh, and it, and it zips down and, uh, this fastens to the top of the, uh, frame up here through Velcro on the back all around it. So that lays in there like that. And this fastens in there like that. And, uh, let me get this out of the way and I'll show you. And, uh, basically it offers you the protection that you would want when you're on the trail if you hit the rain or it's a little chilly and uh, this zips down folds inside and if you need some fresh air but once again if you want to just do this when you're on the trail throw it in the back you have the option to run a full open window but let's get on to the next part of the video where I'm mounting this and you can actually see what I'm talking about Okay, now it's time to mount the frame that we built to the body through the hinges. I think I showed you those. Right here and right here are the two 5 16 round bar hinges that are going to slide into right here. This is where the OEM hinge is. If you removed your doors already, this is the same place you'd be sliding your pin into right now. I know there's different years, and it, and it apply, you know, but this is a 1999. So we're just talking about this, all right? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to line it up. That's it, all right? Door frame. <clears throat> you can see the perimeter of it. This is where we started. Like I said before, the seam of it is right here. We started here. We this is our first bend. We came down here, we finalized it, and we welded it together. That, then we started putting all the other supports in. 
That's your first place. All right, let me show you a couple of points about this door before we move on. It's got two checks right here. These, this keeps the lower portion of the door from coming beyond halfway in on the threshold. So I don't want it to close any more than that because there's something mounted to the outside of it and it has to stay lined up. It's also got a door stop right here for the latch. As it closes, it clicks and that's what it stops on. And it's also got a door stop here as well. This is a worn pull strap from a, from a winch. And uh, you take it and you slide it down over this. This is a, a, a TJ door stop right here that you, uh, that you, you know, you would just mount this on. So you just pull this down over it and um, that prevents the door from opening too far and, and uh, damaging anything. So right now we've got the frame and uh, we're ready to move on to the next piece, which is the panel itself. All right, I showed you this on the counter. This is the actual door panel. Um, it's, this is the factory OEM uh, skin. All right, we're gonna mount it using uh, eighth inch hardware. I'm sorry, uh, three eighths hardware. This is a stainless steel button head cap, cap head, you know, bolt, whatever you wanna call it. All right. We've got all these mounting locations right here. One, two, three, and four, all in each corner. And uh, we're going to uh, just slide these top bolts in real quick. And then uh, just to show you what it looks like. All right, we'll talk about it here, and then I'm going to mount this completely. But let me just, before I move on, sh show you what's going on. All right, as when this bolts in down there, this will all have a general alignment to it. This isn't supposed to be perfect. This is like, you know, panels. I, I, I'm not the original creator of this machine. I don't have a factory stamping this stuff out. I just lined it back up the best I could. So, you know, I've got this flush across this way and all the lines lined up enough to suit my needs. All right, uh, it's all lined in some of the, uh, or at least some of the edges are lined in that little trim to prevent people from, from cutting themselves. Although. It's all been grinded down real smooth. All right, let me move on to uh, installing this, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, I'm back. The panel is mounted to the frame. The frame is mounted to the Cherokee. We've got a fully operational door with a handle and a skin. It closes, it's solid. You can see it does its best to line up. Pretty smooth across here. Pretty smooth across here. Last thing we got to do, as far as aesthetics is concerned, is remount the handle. This is the handle that was from the OEM, from the factory, all right? We screwed the button down, that's what she said, and uh, it's inoperable now. So we're going to mount the handle back through these holes that we, d they, we drilled onto the skin. It doesn't work. You know the handle is here. This is fake. This is just to make it look good. All right. It used to be up here, but we lowered it. We cut, we cut all this top part off of the skin and dropped it down. It's a lot less, you know, it's a lot, uh, not, it's not as tall anymore. All right. So we're going to, we're going to mount this in here with a couple of the uh, original bolts, original nuts that it came with. And the good thing about this is that it actually hides the, uh, it actually hides the bolt for mounting the skin so you don't even see it. I'll show you that. See, the bolt itself is behind that. You know, here's the, here's the lower one here, two, three, but this one isn't visible. I can't tell you how many people I know come up and, uh, and try to open this door through this button. It, it, it's, I can't even tell you how many. It doesn't work, people. You got to reach in here, all right? Well, anyway. We're gonna move on to the next piece. Let's go. Okay, we've got the door mounted now and the skin mounted to the door frame. We're gonna move on to the last piece of this, which is the upholstery top that goes on the frame itself. The outside of this has Velcro pockets that we're going to open up and slide around the frame. A 
It's as simple as that. Okay, and then we've got the bottom part here that attaches to this double bar. This, this opens up as well. And that Velcro's back to itself. And then that is the entire perimeter of the window, leaving us with this gap right here between the uh, panel and the frame. And unless you figure out a way to cover this, the elements, the rain, the wind, the mud, whatever it is, would, would find its way in here. So we figured out to just put a little flap right here with some Velcro on the end and uh, a Velcro strip that runs the length of the door panel. And there you go. All right. That'll keep everything out of there. So now you've got full function of the door and the window. And now it's got a pull from it right here inside or out uh, for the window. It's a clear vinyl window, a number 10 zipper. If you get any mud in there, a leaf, <laughs> it's going to... It's going to pull through it. It's a thick zipper. Tuck the uh, window down inside the frame. And uh, there you go. Keeps a pretty close profile towards the A pillar, across the spreader, and down, down to the B pillar. So uh, it, uh, it won't allow any wind in here. It may look like it's flapping around, but that's just, that's just the material. It's not even really moving. The frame itself is not going to allow it to move. The door is rigid. The upper is on there tight. You got yourself a good upper in case you need to put it on for inclement weather. If you want to remove it, you can just run the door skin. So there you go.